Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. I got some a box O pain. Ah uh, Earl Canada from Earl's Ghost has sent me a box of the sickest looking pods. Here's the dilemma with this one, you guys. You know what the dilemma is? Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Stick around after. By the way, real quick, at the end of this video, so many people got the uh, 25K uh, Scoville family shirt, but a lot of people missed the sale. It was only a two-week sale. There's a new one right now. If you go at the end of the video, go to the YouTube. Right now it's on Facebook. But at the end, go to the YouTube video of it and go to the description box and you'll see a link and you can get one of your 25,000 uh, Scoville family shirts. But I've got some of the coolest peppers you'll ever see here. Look at the tail on this. Do you guys see that the tail on this sinister little creature? But I uh, reached out um, to Earl and I said, dude, what do you want me to eat? You got some crazy cool looking pods here and I want to know what you want me to munch down on. I like this. Do you see what that says? That is just your basic question mark. So this is the pot of pain. But we're not going to do this again. Because I asked uh, Earl, which, what do you want me to eat? And he said a scorpion reaper. So I want you guys to feast your eyes on this nasty, angry little creature of a pod. Do you guys see that? It almost looks like I dipped it in water and it's wet and glistening. Doesn't it almost look wet? You guys, this pod, this is a cross between a scorpion and a reaper. Been getting sharpened, like you guys asked. So it is sharp now. So this is my created from the Philippines. Listen, this was given to me by Justin Yanko in the Philippines. This is made from a leaf spring, a break leaf spring. Or, uh, not a break, excuse me, shock absorber leaf spring for my World War II Willie. That is about the coolest thing. Get out of here. That's so cool. And that's almost cooler than the knife, is how this fits in there. Anyway, it's back. So, anyway, I got this, this really crazy Reaper for, versus a Scorpion. You guys know both pods. Most of you do. It's a wet blade. There you go, folks. Huh. Okay, let's talk about some peppers real quick. Scorpions are one of the hottest pepper. I think arguably as far as the Guinness Book is, is concerned, I think it's like the second or third hottest pod. I think there tend to be hotter ones, but that's no joke. And then the Reaper, which is currently rated by the Guinness Book of World's Record as the hottest pepper, ranging on an average of about 1.5 million. High-end scale, about 2.5 million. This is a combination of both of those evil little peppers. And I'm not kidding you. Wait till I show you the interior of this. Now, you guys are in the know. A lot of you guys are. There are a lot of uh, heat in, in the seeds. Uh, yeah. One of the great myths. There's some placenta there. Do you see that white pulpy stuff, you guys, right there? That is the pinkish white, like right here. That is placenta. And that is where the, I'm going to put this down, but I'm going to show you this now. Take a look at that. Do you understand how thick that pepper is? And it's solid placenta. Pepper goes, you guys understand that pepper goes from here over? This is like solid placenta on this pod. And he said, eat the hot one. Eat the... Scorpion Reaper. Uh, June, you got to be kidding me. June is a, a dude I met. Listen, June, thank you so much for watching. June's a bartender, a good friend of mine. He really is, man. He's in the Philippines. I walked into a bar in the Philippines, and he went, Johnny Scoville. Are you kidding me? It was the most amazing thing. I have some um, pepper garlic uh, oil that he has that is being shipped to me. I couldn't take everything that they gave me home. I have a box this big being shipped to me with literally hundreds of products. And that's in there, June. And the minute I get it, I'll be reviewing that. But you were it, that was one of the coolest moments. Listen, I've had this channel for a long time. I've had people recognize me here and there. But to go to the other side of the earth and walk into a bar and have someone say, Johnny Scoville, I thought you knew J June. 
I thought you knew Harold, who I was with that night. And the fact that you didn't, when I said, you know Harold, he's like, I, I said to Harold, you know this dude? He's like, no, I don't. That was really weird for me. But thank you, June. All right, so I'm stalling a little bit because it smells so scary hot. You know what I'm going to do? Let me cut this pot again just to see if the, if the placenta really is as full as I think it is. It really is. Look at that. That is all placenta. That is a nasty pod, dude. I don't know what you're doing to make these pods so angry, but give them a bit of a break. I'm Johnny Scoville from Earl Canada. Let's chase the. Huh. I don't know what the weight on that pie. I probably ought to get a scale. Pardon me. <sighs> I probably need to get a scale just to weigh these pots because that one was monstrous. Let me tell you what's going on right now in my mouth. It was like super hot right away. Let me spread this capsaicin around a little bit. Let me tell you what was going on. When I was eating the pod, I barely opened my eyes. That was a hot pod, you guys. It's The heat is climbing. <clears throat> the heat is ramping up really fast. It's in my throat. This is going to be probably the hottest pod I've had so far this year. I'm not making it up. And my tolerance is hot right now. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, it really is. My tongue is on fire. My throat's on fire. And as I'm tasting, I'm looking for the uh, scorpion flavor that I'm accustomed to. I'm looking for the Reaper flavor that I'm accustomed to, and I'm literally getting a blend of the two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. It's still climbing. This is going to be, I think, this might be the hottest pepper I've had all year. Got another, a couple boxes coming from some famed growers, so we'll see, but... Right now, I'm being serious as, as a heart attack. That's about as hot a pot. I mean, <clears throat> still one of these things. You know that pulsing thing you get? I don't know if you ever had it. Which like, yeah, it's like like a flanger. Wow, wow, wow. It's just pain on your tongue. It comes in just like that. That's what it's doing right now. Ah. Let's look at some other pods he's got me. Holy moly, you got my throat is like literally on fire. This is a chocolate uh, Prima Reaper cross. This is, you know, interesting. The Reaper and the Prima are so similar in a lot of ways. This is a cross between a chocolate Reaper and a chocolate Primo. So it's the best of both worlds. Uh, I got some other really cool ones. This is a Dougie. Another pretty famed pepper grown by Earl. I'll be eating one of these tomorrow, probably. But wow, huh? Okay, so the flame is, uh, it's, it is peaked. I don't know, that's, that's gonna be like a 12 for a non chili yeah. That's like an easy a five or a six for me. It's like, that's probably like, Listen, that absolutely equals the hottest pot I've had this year. Maybe the hottest. My lips are my lips on the inside are burning. My tongue is throbbing. If man, if you, I'll tell you something. I'm not being like this is not a bravado sort of thing. I mean, it, being straight with you guys, if you're not really into chilies, 
or you're, if, if like a jalapeno is hot to you or a habanero is hot to you, this would be just crippling, devastating. This would throw the average person into panic mode too sweet. And the reason for that is when you first eat it, it's like hot immediately. And the first thought you have is here's what causes panic mode. You, you guys want to hear this? I think I was talking to Scott Lazarus and Heidi about this today. I think I did. What causes panic mode is you're not really accustomed to a lot of heat. And you eat something hot, like wickedly hot, and your first thought is, holy Lord, this is so much hotter than I thought it was going to be. And then what your head immediately does, it goes from what it is now to, oh my God, where could this go? <laughs> I'm being really honest. That is what creates panic mode in people. <clears throat> Huge pepper burp. Excuse me. So, so if somebody's not accustomed to heat, ate this, their first thought would be, you know, really, milk, milk helps a lot. It does. The funny thing, I was talking to Scott today, milk, when you drink milk, when you have it hot in your mouth, water just spreads the capsaicin around. And it really does. It's true. Water makes it worse. Which is sort of the reason that I drank water. Um, but when you draw, when you have a really, really hot pot, like a, a scary one, like a Jigsaw or a Reaper or a Chocobulo or a Bootle Scorpion or a BTR or one of the Jigsaw, one of the really, really hot ones, when you drink milk, when the milk's in your mouth, you're like, oh, God, relief. The minute you swallow the milk, it's like, <clears throat> your tongue's on fire, getting your mouth's on fire. And that's where it's at right now. It's like, firing hot. You know, I'm not getting an endorphin rush. Uh, Liz says endorphin rush. I'm not. Um, Jason Williams socks. Pull up that sleeve. Let's see that egg. Get a lot, you guys. I mean, it goes all the way in front. Um, I got a, a chameleon here, a big giant chameleon. And I got a, a, a blue uh, ringed octopus back here. There's the tragedy and comedy. And then. Uh, I have the flag, obviously, which is uh, really important to me. I love the flag. Millennium Tattoo in uh, Boulder. Or, uh, no. Jeez, uh, I can't remember where it's not Boulder. Uh, I'll think of it later. And then I have, uh, well, that. You guys know that. That was a purple... Some pot that is covered up uh, my former person's tattoo. And then back here I have this I love so much. This is an awesome pot, uh, tattoo. I got this in uh, the Philippines. And now the weird thing is, you guys, I'm on these blood thinners right now. It sucks. So I can't uh, get any tattoos for a while. Kind of a bummer. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what's really funny? I, I think I said this on one of the videos. You would think that I go to a hospital, they say you have bilateral acute pulmonary embolisms and we got to give you some medicine. We're going to give you blood thinners. It's going to make you bleed like crazy. They would have taken a look at my head, right? I shave my head. I shave a lot of my face. But I shave a lot of my body every day. You would have think they would have said, hey, you know what, dude? Listen, be careful shaving because if you nick yourself with these blood thinners, you're going to bleed like a stuck pig pardon that expression. I gotta tell you something, man. No one warned me about that. However, friends of mine that are on Facebook that have had peas or blood clots or whatever, <coughs> they're like, dude, hey, listen, you shave your head, be careful. They thought to say something, but the hospital didn't. I stuck my finger with a knife. I had a new uh, box of something, a box of product, and I went to open it and just, just barely stuck the tip of my finger right there, I kid you not, it bled for three hours. The next day, I woke up and I was like, all I did was grab my finger. It wasn't bleeding. I grabbed it and just kind of squeezed it and blood immediately started coming out. Blood thinners are scary, man. I don't think about bleeding to death. It's a weird thing. Someone's got to kill me. I didn't think bleeding to death would. I think more like a heart attack or a stroke or something, but anyhow. Fort Collins. Thank you, Desiree Donovan. That's where Millennium Tattoos, it was Fort Collins. Feeling better, Scott, Scott Farris. Thanks for asking. My left lung really feels fine. My right lung is getting better. Um, still have trouble sleeping on my right side. Sleeping on my left side is pretty good. 
Oh, hey, listen, we'll be announcing the 24-hour the, uh, live stream, uh, the Chase the Heatathon. This is to raise money. And listen, I'm being really serious. I never got, I never ask you guys for anything. I'm asking you guys for help this time. I need funding to get this trip to Australia to happen. I give you my word. Desiree is going with me. We'll have tons of amazing footage. It'll be worth it. So I need you guys to help me. I'll be announcing the day of the 24-hour uh, Chasey Heat a thon. Uh, probably within the next three or four days, I'll be announcing it. So I hope all you guys can watch. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. You might have 24 hours. Look, I'm in front of you guys right now for 16 minutes and 23 seconds. Can you imagine 24 hours straight? But here's a cool thing. We're going to have games and auctions and I'm going to do a giveaway every single hour of a bottle of sauce and at least one t-shirt every single hour and a Chase the Heat shirt. Every the, YouTube only lets me do uh, eight hour blocks of time. So I'll do eight hours and stop and at least do eight hours more and stop and do eight hours more. So I'll do the 24. But in each eight hour block we'll be giving away a bunch of really amazing things. Um, really cool uh, memorabilia, especially from, from Hellfire Hot Sauce that you can't get anywhere. Like if there's a museum someday for hot sauce, this stuff is in this museum. And I'm giving you guys a chance to having it, so it's going to be kind of exciting. Uh, yeah, Mark Wilkinson, you're so funny saying rat poison. You, got, you think that's a joke? Mark's so in tune, it's not funny. The number one thing they use in blood thinner uh, medicine is the exact same drug they use in poison for rats. Rats will eat this, it tastes great, they're all like yummy, and they bleed to death, they bleed out internally. And uh, that's, you know, which is funny because I'm taking Eliquist right now, Eliquist. Uh, it's like 800, or excuse me, 580 bucks a month, even with my insurance, so trying to, a yeah, different one. I, I know that Plavix and uh, Cumidin and uh, there's uh, Warfin. There's a few others that do the exact same thing and they're a third of the price. So we'll work on that. The flavor of that pepper was great. It wasn't bitter at all. It was super hot, kind of earthy. Um, you know what? There might have been a touch of bitterness, but there really wasn't a floral. It was just a slight bit of bitterness, but it was just fiercely hot, like like ferociously hot right off the bat. It really is funny because I've had like scorpion reapers before, but anytime I have a pod that's a mixture of two pods, I try to taste. I'm looking for like if it's a. I had a reaper ghost recently. I think that's what it was. But I'm like, I'm like trying to find the reaper. I'm trying to find the ghost, and somewhere in the middle, I find something. It's kind of what it was like with this. Um, it was tasty though. Uh, big Pharma, we'll get you, dude. That's crazy. You have no idea how crazy it is. It's not burning anymore, Jesse. The uh, got kind of a weird tolerance. I think my tolerance, it's really funny. I've been thinking about this a lot more the last couple of days. I think my tolerance for pain is probably the greatest aspect of what makes me what I'm good at. It isn't so much, I mean, your tolerance for heat, what it really is that, it's a tolerance for pain. Because what is heat? Heat is painful. So really, it isn't so much... You don't think about heat, just think about you're dealing with pain. And the problem is, like, when you first time you ever eat a jalapeno, for instance, you eat the jalapeno, it's, like, hot, and you're, like, not used to it, you aren't ready for it. it throws you in kind of this mode where, like, you're not used to it. You're like, wait a minute, we got a problem here. And that's what happens. And the more you get used to it, like Tim is watching right now, a hot sauce junkie Tim. Great dude. A chili head of epic proportion. Go watch his channel. He's amazing. But you know what? He's used to eating hot stuff, and when you're used to eating hot stuff, you're used to, you know the pain's going to come on, you know you're going to have to deal with it. And I think the biggest thing that separates me from other people, and I'm nothing special, but most people when they eat a hot pot, they can't really, like, you have like a, such a small window, like a super hot, like the one I ate just now, a reaper uh, scorpion. You got a window about that big before, if you're a non chili that you can describe the flavor. Because if you don't describe the flavor in that really short window, what will happen is it just changes just like that. And you're no longer tasting anything and all you've got is pain. You know what I mean? And Tim has done this long enough where he's, his tolerance is climbing. I can see it happening and I watch his videos all the time. But when you watch his videos, it's like he's, he's accustomed to talking about the flavor. And that's my greatest attribute, my greatest uh, skill skill set with this channel is that I'm able to accurately describe in the 
moment what I'm tasting, whereas a lot of people can't do that. But Tim will testify, the higher your tolerance gets, the more you're able to describe those different feelings. Just my thought. One guy talking here. But he agrees. He says, you got that right, Johnny. Um, Jason Kipper says, I have a high tolerance for pain, but extreme heat in my mouth is different. More sensitive. Could be. But you will get used to it. That's the truth of it. No joke. Uh, has Chef Kenny ever cooked with super hots? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you bet he has. I won't steal his answer, but you bet he has. And I'll be with him soon. You guys have no idea how excited I am about that. You know, it's funny, John, John Steele just says, I have a little more trouble, a little bit more trouble with tongue burn peppers. They're more uncomfortable. You know the classic tongue burn pepper to me is? Your, uh, just your basic orange hob, habanero. In 98, it was the hottest uh, pepper rated by the Guinness Book of World's Record. And today, it's psh, not even a super hot. There are 150 peppers hotter than a habanero. However, the habanero has the most unusual burn, if you ask me. And tell me if this is what you mean, John Steele. It has a tongue sting. You hear that? Clifton Corbett says the same thing. I'd rather eat a reaper than an orange habanero. Orange hobs have this sting. It's just a sting, like your tongue is getting stung with needles. I'm telling you, if a reaper, which is so much hotter than a habanero, if a reaper had the similar tongue sting that a hob had, there'd be very, very few people eating them. I'm just being serious with you. It's brutal, but it's just, it's a weird and here. It's a, you know what the funny thing about the habanero is? It's such a weird pepper because so many people. It's the, one of the most readily accessible hotter of the hot peppers that you can get in grocery stores, right? You can get them like a lot of supermarkets, you can get habaneros. So people will try it and they'll take a, they'll eat a one. And it's one of the most peculiar peppers because even though it's not that hot on the Scoville scale, the stung, the tongue sting is so severe and so nasty that when you when you taste it, if you're not accustomed, you thought if this is only a habanero, uh, a reaper would stop my heart. And I think that's what people think. I don't know. I think I think a lot of people, it's one trial learning where you eat it once, you're like, well, I'll never do that again. You know, some people drink too much tequila and they're like, that's it, never do that again. I promise you, I know a lot of people who've eaten a Reaper and say, I'll never do that again. Or even more so, like just like I'm kind of talking about, eating a uh, habanero and said, forget it. It's different. The pain is different with a, uh, a Reaper or a Jigsaw or a, a chocolate boot or a chocolate ghost or all those. A Prima, way different a burn than the habaneros. I don't know. Just my thought. Um, ghost peppers are not as annoying as a habanero Pete Hoffman. Boy, that's true, you know. I mean, really, it's just a, it's a... I think the amount of pain you get from an orange hob is so much worse if you compare it to the relative amount of Scoville heat units than to a, a anything, any of the ultra hots. You know what I mean? I mean it. That's just my thought. There's one guy talking. We got, you know what's happening here, you guys? It's getting dark. I'm gonna start doing my videos a little bit earlier. Just tomorrow morning, my new video, or uh, my camera. Brand new camera, it's gonna be awesome for live streaming on YouTube. I'll stop, not completely, on Facebook. But listen, I have 4,900 followers on Facebook. I've got about 20, almost 28,000 on YouTube. I, my goal is to grow the Chili community. I can grow it more if I'm tapping into the people live on YouTube and Facebook. So I hope you guys understand that. I hope you do. And by the way, I have a lot more people that are on Facebook, on YouTube, that just do not do Facebook than versus Facebook that won't do YouTube. <coughs> I haven't had anybody that says, yeah, I do Facebook, but I won't go on YouTube. But I've had so many people that said, yeah, I'm on YouTube, but I don't do that Facebook stuff, so... I just want to reach the most people as possible. You guys get that. But <clears throat> I, I love you guys a lot. Shane Christensen. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I can help. I just reviewed uh, one of his sauces tonight. Oh. Uh, about a couple hours ago, I reviewed a great sauce. I'll be re uh, releasing it in, in the next day or so. But Mariachi uh, Ninja. It's a green sauce. And you guys know I love green sauces. Unique thing. First time I ever had a sauce with peas in it. Peas. Green peas. And I'm telling you, here's Scott, or Shane, excuse me, at the base. 
Here's the pitch, and Shane Christensen knocks it out of the park. Yeah, that's a home run sauce. So I'll be reviewing. Uh, I'll be releasing that pretty soon. Shane, you're pretty awesome. Hope you and your family. Hope Shelly as well. Your daughter as well. Uh, we're just about done with this, guys. Listen, I'm going to wrap this up now. It's getting dark here. So below you'll see a link for uh, Earl Canada. I'm telling you, man, just some pretty spooky uh, pods he grows. That was really one of the hottest pods I've eaten all year. For a non chili that's going to be more than a 10. So, <clears throat> Guys are awesome. Love you. I mean it. So stick around just for a couple seconds. We'll do question answer for a couple minutes. But you guys, thanks for watching. Um, go to the uh, description box, click the link for Earl, get some of his peppers. You'll be super thrilled you did. If you or you're like, man, I want to try a hotter one, here's your dude to talk to. Um, right here is the pepper. Click that pepper, and when you do, your family and my family, we kind of do one of these things. We're together. Uh, be a part of this, okay? Um, if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification, and we will notify you when we upload new ones. You stick around. I love you guys a lot. I'm Johnny Scoville. Pretty soon it's going to be all YouTube, all the time. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Eat.